In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys just how you should be eating if your goal is to bulk up and build muscle. In my opinion, cutting, eating in a calorie deficit, burning fat, that's the easy part. But doing a proper bulk where you have a minor surplus where you're minimizing fat gain while building muscle, that's where it gets tricky. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I would be eating on a bulk. We're gonna go through meal by meal. I'm gonna show you just how easy, delicious, and simple this whole process can be. So buckle them seat belts and brace yourself for impacts. We're about to get this show started. Let's go. We are gonna start this muscle building program off with a big, delicious breakfast. This is what I call anabolic power oatmeal. It's a combination of peanut powder, frozen blueberries, a little bit of protein, sugar-free syrup, and oatmeal. And to make sure we're 100% accurate with the calories, the protein, the carbs, everything, we're gonna be weighing everything out. Hate to break it to you, but if you have not been using a food scale, you really wanna start using one. If you wanna guarantee your results, whether that's fat loss or building muscle, making sure all your numbers are in order, you gotta use one of these. So I'm gonna start by weighing out my oatmeal in a large mixing bowl. And keep in mind, in order to make sure all my measurements are spot on, I'm literally pulling all the info from the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. Anytime I'm making meals, I have this guy right beside me. If I need to know what I need to weigh out, the calories, what to track in my fitness pal, it's all right here. If you wanna make your own meal plan, you can't go wrong with this. We're gonna add in our water, then a couple scoops of the best protein powder on this planet. We'll toss in our frozen blueberries, a little bit of peanut powder, and then finally a dash of sugar-free syrup. And the last step, we just gotta go in and mix everything together. there we go. There aren't many simpler anabolic breakfasts than this. And I'm telling y'all, this tastes way better than it looks. You just gotta trust me. You're gonna love this one. And what we have here is actually a double order of anabolic power oatmeal. And in this entire meal, at meal one, we have 804 calories, 12 grams of fat, 76 grams of protein, 98 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fiber. And the best part about a meal like this, if you're on the go, is you can prep this in advance and it'll last in your fridge for up to a week. Just slap a lid on it, take it with you to work, eat it in the car. This is super convenient. It's gonna help you towards your goals. Now, let's move on to meal two. Come on. And meal two on this program is gonna be another classic. We're gonna be making spicy popcorn chicken. You might be confused by the cornflakes, but I'm telling you, when this thing's done, you'll get the hype. So the first thing we do is get a mixing bowl and start adding some spices. We start with a little paprika, some garlic powder, some ground mustard, and some black pepper. Give everything a quick mix. Now we're gonna toss in our chicken and add our sugar-free honey, just like so. Now I'm gonna go in and mix everything up until all of our chicken is sticky and coated in our seasoning. And now that we're coated, I've broken up my cornflakes into smaller pieces. I'm gonna pour those down in and mix everything together until all of our chicken is fully coated in our breading. And once all of our chicken is breaded, I'm just gonna sit it on a rack that I have placed on a baking sheet. It's gonna let these cook more evenly all over. I'm just gonna space them out. And then these bad boys are gonna be ready for the oven. And at this point, this is looking just how I want it. All I'm gonna do is toss this in the oven for about 10 minutes and we'll be rocking and rolling. I'll see you on the other side. If you tell me that this meal doesn't look good, I know you're lying. The spicy popcorn chicken is truly a delicacy. You gotta try this one to really see what all the hype's about. So in meal two in this program, what we got is 361 calories, only one gram of fat, 54 grams of protein, 34 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. So at this point, we have two meals down. We're at about 1,300 calories on the day. So now we're gonna move into meal three and we're gonna keep this train rolling. Y'all ready? Come on. Meal three is what I like to call a convenience meal. We're keeping things simple. This is great for grab and go, great when you're on the road. And we're not just having any protein bar, we are having an Anabar, the best dang protein bar on this planet. And I heard through the grapevine that they will be restocking tomorrow. So if you want to know the inside scoop of when exactly these are gonna drop, make sure you follow me on social media. That way you can get you a pretty box like this. Trim those sides off, take this, tuck it down in, and you got a showpiece right here. Put that on the mantle. Put it next to Granny's ashes. It's gonna look great there. Now in this bar, in particular, what we got at meal three is 11 grams of fat, 21 grams of protein, 22 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, and that's gonna put us at roughly 1,600 calories on the day. So when I'm eating and I'm bulking, what I like to do is have a really big meal at night. That way, I go to bed full and satisfied. So meal four, she's gonna be a big one. Come on. 
this is my ultimate pepperoni pizza. It's gonna be perfect for this program, and we're gonna get to eat the entire thing. Let's go. We got a pre-made crust sitting on a pizza circle. I'm just gonna weigh out a little bit of our pizza sauce, give her a nice spread. Then we weigh out our turkey pepperoni and spread it out edge to edge on top of our sauce. And now we lay out some of our fat-free cheese, and now we lay down our remaining pepperoni, and now we lay down the rest of our cheese. And now that this bad boy's built, all she needs is a little TLC in that oven, and we're gonna be feasting in no time. See you here in a minute. Come on. And after 10 minutes in the oven, she's looking great. Last thing she needs, tiny bit of oregano and a light dusting of powdered Parmesan. Dinner is served, baby. We get an entire large ultimate pepperoni pizza. A lot of times when you're trying to eat a lot of food, the volume needed to build muscle, and you're trying to keep it 100% chicken, rice, and broccoli, it's really hard to get all that food down. When you make the better choices with recipes like this, it becomes super simple. I mean, how many people out there can eat a whole pizza? I could probably eat two. Now in meal number four, we're getting a ton of calories. So in this entire meal, we have 1,168 calories, 28 grams of fat, 132 grams of protein, 97 grams of carbs, 9 grams of fiber. So at this point, we're at about 2,600 calories on the day, but we still have time for a little dessert. So after we smash this pizza, we'll get to having something a little more sweet. Let's go. All right, folks, we are going to make anabolic Muddy Buddies. Basically like eating candy. We got some Chex Mix here. We got some zero calorie confectioner sugar, some sugar-free chocolate syrup, peanut powder, and a mix of vanilla whey protein and some chocolate. Let's go. So we start by taking a mixing bowl, put our zero calorie powdered sugar down in there, along with a little bit of vanilla whey protein. Watch that scale, measure her out, and then give her a good mix. And keep in mind, I'm pulling all of this right out of the RJF anabolic cookbook. It tells me what to weigh out and step-by-step -step instructions. That way I've I made one of these in like a month, I know exactly how to do it right here. And for our chocolate coating, we're gonna add our sugar-free chocolate syrup, a little bit of peanut powder, and a little bit of chocolate whey protein. Now we just mix these together. And once it's a smooth chocolate consistency, we'll put down in our rice cereal. Then I'll just go in with a spoon and slowly work all these until they're all covered in chocolate, making sure I don't press too hard because I don't want to crack any of our Chex Mix. And once they're all coated, we just dump them in our powdered sugar, and we're gonna mix them, shake them around until they're all covered. And we officially have the perfect late night snack, anabolic chocolate frosted Muddy Buddies. This is great if you're just watching Netflix in bed, you can make a big batch of these in advance, put them in the fridge, they're gonna last all week. Really um, delicious and uh, easy to eat on a diet, which is the goal of all these recipes and everything I do on this channel. So for our final meal, what we got is 310 calories, two grams of fat, 23 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber. So now that we got all the meals knocked out, let's lay them all out and break down the totals for the entire plan and you can see what we're working with. Let's go. The gang is all here. We started this program off with a big bowl of anabolic power oatmeal. We moved into spicy popcorn chicken for lunch. For a midday snack while we're on the go, we have a cookies and cream anabar. Heard through the grapevine that restock's happening tomorrow. For dinner, we had a massive ultimate pepperoni pizza. And then finally, for a little late night snack, we had anabolic Muddy Buddies. Now in this entire program, for all the food you see here, we have 2,914 calories, only 54 grams of fat, 306 grams of protein, 300 one grams of carbs and 26 grams of fiber. And to explain those numbers for me, when I'm trying to put on size, right now I do about 40 minutes of cardio a day. When switching over to trying to get a little bigger, I'd probably cut that in half and go down to 20. And then normally if I'm cutting on 2,200 calories, I'd probably bump that up to 2,900 to give me about a 200 calorie surplus. So keep in mind, this is for me and isn't exactly fine tailored for you and your needs. But I do think if you're similar to me, five foot 10, you weigh about a buck 80, you're pretty active, you're hitting the gym, this right here, here would be a really good place to start. And at the end of the day, folks, it's all about consistency. You need to treat this the same way you would when you're cutting. You gotta hit that calorie goal and that protein goal. It's so easy when you're bulking and you're having extra calories to do four or five, 6,000 calories a day. The next thing you know, you're getting too fat too quick. If you wanna put on muscle, it is slow and steady. So keep that in mind. And with these recipes and these videos, you don't have to eat foods you don't enjoy. I mean, check this out. Does this look like it's hard to eat? Not at all. And that's the goal with everything going on. And if there's anything specifically in this meal plan that you don't 
like. You can always just make your own meal plan out of the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. I literally made this entire video just by reading out of here, weighing, measuring, and making the food per the instructions. So every recipe on this channel is in here and you get it once. Anytime I add a new recipe, you get it for free. So seriously, if you need help meal planning and trying to figure out a diet that's gonna work for you, I really think this could help. Link down below in my description. Appreciate you guys as always for checking out the channel. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. Keep in mind, Anabar restock should be happening tomorrow. Follow me on social media because we're gonna sell out quick. So if you want to try these, the best protein bar on the market, be there or be square. I'm out of here, folks. Until next time, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. Later. Boom.